What is it? It's your father's lightsaber. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. He was the best star pilot in the galaxy and a cunning warrior. Lightsabers, the coolest weapon of all time. Well, they used to be, before the dark times, before... <laughs> Is there a more iconic weapon than a lightsaber? It instantly tells you what universe you're in. An amazing addition by George that added to the mystique of the Jedi and the Sith. They were part of being a Jedi, so much so that we are told that building a lightsaber is one of the final steps of a Jedi's training. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. Your skills are complete. They were magical, and I wanted one. That is your first lesson. Learn it well. The Force is my lightsaber. Well, not anymore. Not only are they not special anymore, Disney doesn't even know how they work. Let's take a look. And yes, don't worry, we will get to that throne room scene. Oh, <laughs> that shit. For a start, I'm going to jump to the one thing that gets my little George Lucas fan club blood boiling. It's a lightsaber, not a laser sword. Sorry, Last Jedi Defenders. I know this fits perfectly with space wizards. A Star Wars lightsaber. The Force lightsaber. Star Wars lightsaber. New Star Wars lightsaber. Force action lightsaber. Star Wars electronic lightsaber. The Force unleashed lightsaber. I saw your laser sword. Only Jedis carry that kind of weapon. I assume little Anakin called it that because he lived on a shithole in the middle of nowhere and had heard about the Jedi and legend. Kind of like me pronouncing nunchucks and guessing which martial art they go with. Nunchucks? Nunchucks? Something like that? I'm gonna walk out with a laser sword and face down the whole First Order. Why would Luke call it that? He has been told it's a lightsaber his whole life. Your father's lightsaber. A new lightsaber. His lightsaber. Ah, uh, yes. A Jedi's weapon. Is that a laser sword, Johnny? No, it's a lightsaber, you stupid fuck. This is why no one likes you. Yes, it's a fucking lightsaber, you twats. Some have said Luke called it a laser sword to show Ray how stupid the idea of him helping was. It worked. It sounded stupid. Hang on, that's what he ends up doing anyway. Oh, well. I'm gonna walk out with a laser sword and face down the whole First Order. Let's look at the lightsaber and try and work out why is Disney so confused. George gave us two versions of the lightsaber. In the OT, it was a mythical weapon linked greatly to the Force. The power of it was built up over time. The fights were more about the emotional weight than the skills. Two old friends meeting again. The depth of a father testing his son. The son trying to save the father. It's really not until the third film that we see Luke use the lightsaber in a controlled manner. And only once do we see a non-user handle a lightsaber. Wasn't even in a fight. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. With the prequels, George had a chance to show us what a fully trained Jedi could do with a lightsaber. And it was glorious. We had seen it as Luke and Vader's weapon. Now we were seeing it as a Jedi weapon. A powerful, scary weapon that required training and force powers to control. You didn't see anyone just pick up a lightsaber and start swinging it around until, well... They started off strong. I'm in, take my money. I'm liking this. Man, he is powerful. No one's beating that dude. Then there was a bit of this. Whoa! Then they built up the importance of the weapon. I like this scene, but two films later, we still don't know why she saw those visions. Then we have this. Completely diluting the importance of the weapon. Oh, it's just like a baton. Except it can burn straight through your own head. And this guy happens to have a buzzy baton that can block lightsabers. That's handy. <laughs> to be fair, this guy's not bad. He actually does better than Kylo does later. Whoa! Nothing turns on a girl more than slaughtering your father. Right in front of her. What? 
Finn's gonna take on Kylo, a trained Jedi? Isn't Kylo just gonna... Right! Oh, good. Oh, no, no, hang on, he's gonna fight it out. Just put any other Force user that is trained with a lightsaber in Kylo's place, and it's ridiculous that Finn isn't beaten instantly. But we'll ignore that for a second. I'd been on board for most of this movie, but the first real sign I had that this was a Disney movie was this. Oh, sorry, that's not really how it went. It was more like this. A lightsaber just went straight up the middle of his body and... Tis but a scratch. A scratch? We have seen limbs flying off since 1977, but now you can be hit with one, somehow knocked out, question mark, and not be split in two. They actually filmed a scene where Poe had sewn up his jacket. That was the damage that was done. Look at Finn. He's fine. Now it's Ray's turn. I've already been through how stupid this scene is. In my Star Wars, strong women lie. Check it out. Ryan gave it five stars. It's a great video. I highly recommend it. I keep hearing that she grew up defending herself with a staff, a two-handed weapon you can rest against your body without dying. She'd never even turned on a lightsaber before. Plus, these guys have all harnessed the power of the Force. They have all trained with masters. They're on a different stratosphere. She has fought off vagrants. And you don't go from this to this. Bang, oh, he's fucked. That head is gone. Wait, what the fuck? A scratch? Are you serious? Two people in five minutes hit with a lightsaber and no loss of organs. Quick note, Kylo's helmet is cool. This should have fucked him up so bad that he needed to keep that helmet on to stay alive. You know, like his grandfather. Sorry, Raylo fans. You freaks. So now lightsabers can hit you, but do very little or mysterious injuries. So they're not as lethal. But wait, Kathleen Kennedy thinks Rogue One is boring. So quick force. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you, I, I did a force joke. Force a lightsaber scene into Rogue One. Okay, we are back to lightsabers slaughtering people again. Cool, I like it. Okay, this shows they don't understand Luke more than they don't understand lightsabers. We'll move on. This is training. <laughs> Looks like a child playing in the backyard. Who choreographed this film? Like a hot knife through butter, but barely breaks the skin if you hit with it. Disney, which is it? Doctor, you want another phone? <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ha! The only time two lightsabers touch. And Ray has beaten both of these people. Ray is God. And here we go. We made it. The overrated throne room scene. You may know of the disappearing knife, but that ain't the worst of it. It's supposedly one of the greatest looking scenes of all time. What if I told you I know which film they copied? A film made 78 years before Last Jedi. Probably just a coincidence. Here we go. Whoa, she's strong. Two other four shoes in the room, but uh, doesn't stop Ray. What the fuck is this guy doing? She's on the other side of the room. Nice pose. Here we go. The worst choreographed fight in the history of mankind. Why are you spinning? Stop spinning. Kylo just hit the ground. And look at the other guy. He's about to go for his sword instead of his head. Where are you going? Why is this guy running off? Hang on, she just kicked three people with one kick. What the fuck? <laughs> this is awesome. That kick's embarrassing. Just quickly, who are they fighting for? This is their new boss now. What would have happened if they'd killed Kylo? Like, who would they then answer to? Very confused, very confused men. Man, she's good. Two points here. The worst thing to have in a spaceship is fire. But these guys stand in front of a massive wall with weapons that light it up like a Christmas tree. So what's the matter with you? Secondly, what the fuck is this guy doing? This isn't something you slow down to see. This guy is literally waiting his turn. What are you doing over there, buddy? Fucking get into the fight. <laughs> oh good, more screaming. Remember when Jedis would Focus. So 
see this guy? This is my favorite part. He is about to throw his weapon away before charging in. Literally, throw it out of the shot so he can die. Roll the tape. What the fuck? Brian Johnson was sitting there watching this. Amazing. More floor hitting. Old Kylo doesn't seem to have much control. Here we go. You've all seen it. The disappearing weapon. Why they didn't remove it from the start of the cutscene. Who knows. Now you see it. And now it's gone. But that's not it. He has another chance to kill her. And then the move that just fucks me off. That arm was pushing against her. As soon as she let go, that weapon should have gone clean through her face. And then, bang. That leg should be gone. What? Just nicked again? Okay, headshot. What? Why isn't his head off? What's with all the just breaking the surface? The nicks. The flesh wounds. It's their strong arm, you say. Just doesn't protect the face. Now, people will say, well, you slowed it down. No one will ever notice. Or better still, I'm nitpicking. Lift your standards, people. They spend months working on these fights. Look at the training they went through for the prequels. See how many mistakes you can find in those films. How did so many mistakes get past so many people? This isn't a one take scene. They would have done this over and over and over. Is it the lack of talent or do they just not care? It's just working out the moves for that. This bullshit, just walk up and grab it. The big Ryan Johnson screw you. Literally breaking George's creation. Please make it stop. Not only is the dialogue in this scene atrocious, I will have killed the last Jedi. Wrong. The choreography again is terrible. It's backyard matrix. I can't believe I paid to see this. And that's it. The coolest weapon of all time, a Jedi weapon, has now lost all its wonder. Like the Force, it's no longer special. Anyone can now use them. They can split rocks, but not bodies or faces. They can show you visions, but only once, and they don't mean anything. They can start legends, your father's lightsaber, and then get tossed away. It's so confusing. I'd rather not do this now. Yeah, me too. Disney, why did Rey take Luke's lightsaber when she left the island? It's not hers to take. What? Ah, oh, fuck. 